Hello guys, it's me again, Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel once again. And um, that's it really, we've had uh, quite a few new um, subscribers in the last few weeks. I'd like to say a really good welcome to you guys and thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to be carrying on today with this, um, my day book, because it's only the end of October and um, I haven't actually started uh, putting anything in it yet. <laughs> So I really must get on. So today, um, since we filmed last and I added the little necklace here using the brad, I don't know if you remember, or you, if you haven't seen that, perhaps you want to go and look at that one from before. Um, since then, all I've done is added some lace to the top there. I think that finished it off really well. I think if you can see. So I've added the lace to the top. And uh, what I want to do today is, um, I'm going to embellish or decorate the inside front cover, which is obviously in frame. Um, if you remember rightly, I, I, starting in the month of October, and I, I uh, for the month I've wanted to start with this um, beautiful graphic 45 seasons paper, which is filled with warm autumnal colours, and I love it. But as the um, cover is quite cool, uh, cool colours, the, the muted cool colours, uh, and the inside cover are quite cool, I wanted to do these two, um, the inside cover, um, cool colours as well. And I've sort of chosen um, chosen colours that go with the, like the frosted hydrangea theme that I did for my mini day book. And I really love that. Um, so I've just thought I'd take the same image um, and I've taken a book page, which I really like. It's sort of a, a shabby chicy kind of book page and it's got some just the lovely muted colours there as a base to make a collage with this um, sort of winter um, scape. And I'm going to layer it with this. I don't know if you did that or that. I think with the floral and use some lace on that side as well um, a tiny bit have I got it I've got some burgundy lace as well I thought um, well we can start with this one so I wanted to do that on that side and on this side this side of the cover I wanted to do um, a little pocket a little pocket and I wanted to line just the join there from the where well, reinforce the spine. I just wanted to cover that with this lace, and I want this pocket, like a multiple little pocket, to go across the bottom here. Yep, like that, and to have this open at the top here, like a top loading pocket as well, just for a few little bits, really because I'm going to have pockets all the way through. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to need, um, I'll start off with this side. So I've got my, um, I've got some distress inks as well, Victorian velvet, just to sort of really, I just want to take that colour down a little bit. And this one called Gathered Twigs. And my distressing tool, which I found, I'm really quite impressed with the fact I found them and the different sponges they come off with different sponges that you can uh, replace you you change them over and you change the color um, that you're using so and i'm using my fabri tac glue as well first things first thing i want to do for this base it's from what i'm going to do i'm going to round the edges with my paper my corner rounder which i think makes such a difference um, it took me a while, while I first started journaling, to actually invest in one of these, but it wasn't expensive. And especially when you're making your journaling cards and things, I think it really does finish off a, a project quite nicely. So I wanted to do that, and I was going to just ink the edge, um, ink the edges. So I'm going to use the Victorian Velvet to ink the edges on this one. Um, so I'm going to ink, ink all the way around. Let me see how that brings the colour down. On the edges. I really like that already, to be fair. Um, 
that one. And as it's it's cut, what age is it today? I think it's the 27th of October. And um, I haven't really started writing this day book yet. I've got my information that I want to transfer over. So as I've done my the custom order, the lovely Paulette that's gone out in the post this morning, I thought I'd just take a little time to try and get this up to date. I've also got um, just a couple of journals that I'm working on for the, my Etsy store, which is looking a little bit neglected, sorry to say, but I'm in the middle of fixing that. And some assembly journals as well, so it's going to be a busy, busy time. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to get the, the paper, what's his name? Uh, hole punch. I'm going to go halfway through, if you can see, halfway down, punch a hole so that it might be a little bit deep really, but it's just for me so it makes no odds. So it's easy to get things in and out. I'm going to pop that like so first. And I've done these pockets before for different journals. I've actually just sewn round the edges. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, I want to keep the top open because I want to be able to pop things in the top. So and I'll just pop that like that, like so. And that's going to go... Actually, let's pop it up here towards the edge. There we go. Do I want to do it that way? Yeah, I do. So if that's empty. Can you see how the stat the distressing has taken that colour down? We needed to be more muted. I really like that. So what I need to do first is just pop that one down, don't I? Yeah. Just pop that one down. I really I can see now why people a lot of the YouTube ladies love this fabric tack because it is brilliant especially when you're trying to you're losing fabrics as well lace stuff is down it um and it dries really quickly and you don't have to worry you don't have to worry that it's going anywhere i best let that dry before i put this one down seepage there so what I might do shall I because I'm going to pop that on the top there like so so that I can insert a couple of bits probably not a lot and then I want to be able to insert some things in here too at the top so let's let that dry a little bit while I let that dry let's um, start on this side I think I'm going to do the same again I'm going to ink the edges let's move that across I'm going to ink the edges. All right, let me just, I'll show you why well, these are all pinned here. Um, so once I've done this, I'm going to start my October spread. And um, this is a bit bright, so I'm going to use these faux leaves and lace. Maybe a bit of stamping, I'm not sure, to decorate this page. And then that's going to say... October. Um, I don't know if I do that on camera or not, um, but that's the next the next step. And after I've done this video, um, somebody's asked me just to do a little flip through of um, this journal of the pages before I started to dress them, and I think that's a really good idea. Um, so I will do that. It might not be in this video actually because I, I said so I've been trying to keep my videos to 15 minutes and under because it seems to take 
I get a lot of it gets really glitchy when you try to upload videos that are a little longer than that on YouTube. Let me if you guys have found that. Um, Inked. And also, I find 15 minutes for me when I'm watching other uh, uh, YouTube channels is just about enough time to be going on with. I like to watch them in the evenings while I'm relaxing. I love to see what other people have been doing. Yeah, pop that on there. And um, 15 minutes to 20 is just about enough, I think. All right, so we're going to pop that down as a little base. There you go. I think that's going to look lovely. I'll pop it up there. And I'll probably just ink round the edges. Oh, let's put the lid on that. Ink round the edges of here. Actually, I could do that now, couldn't I? Oh, and let's let it dry. Let's let it dry. And then let's do this as well. What have I done with my... I could have... I thought... Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, it needed to be in frame, doesn't it? Oh, silly mummy. There you go. That's that one. And then let's do this one as well. And let's um, ink. Let's ink the edges of this. Let's ink all the edges, I think. Right, if you remember this little images from the writing set that I picked up. A vintage, a charity shop little writing set with all the different seasons on. And when I did the mini, the mini journals, for the Etsy first Etsy collection, um, I did the frosted hydrangea on one, and I loved it um, with this paper. I just think it's beautiful, beautiful. I might go over this in a little. I've got some of this gathered twig as well, because that's quite browny, and this is quite pinky. But we'll see. So now what I'm going to do, I want to layer that like that. But I don't know whether I want to pop a little bit of lace somewhere. Um, like that, perhaps. I've got some of this burgundy lace I thought I brought with me, but... Um, like that, maybe not like that, actually. Maybe like that, maybe like that, and do a little something on the top there. Or should it be burgundy? Let's see. Let's see how we're doing for time, are we? Heading up to 15 minutes, it's going to be a, a bit longer in the end, guys, by the looks of things. I might have to do the flip through separately. And hope for the best. Well, I will do the flip through separately, actually. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. Uh, my little girl upstairs. Maybe that needs to be. Um... Right, well, we'll start off with that. I might modify it a bit later. We'll add something down here. Okay, let's go for that then. For now. It's not set in stone, is it, to be fair? It's not set in stone. So there's that. Just do a little bit. Just as a little base just starting to experiment with sort of collaging and things which I, I enjoy seeing other people do when they work in their 
journals and things. Let's pop that there like that. I'm not sure whether to... Right, we're at 15 minutes, guys, so we're going to see how that... We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that works out for us. I think that... Yeah, like that. So let's... Put... Oh! A bit much. We're just coming to nearly the end of this bottle. It's my first bottle. It's lasted ages. It's lasted ages. And... Um... Yeah, so it starts to get a bit glitchy, doesn't it? It starts to get a bit glitchy. Okie kooky, and let's pop that on like that, like so. There you go, just gonna, just gonna glue that down. Like so, might be a bit liberal, but there you go. It took me ages to find. I've saw everybody on YouTube using this Fabri-Tac business and my local haberdashers didn't really... They had some, to be fair, and I bought one that I thought was what I needed and it turned out to be something that was slow drying and it was just a bit of a mare, to be fair, to use. And so I, in the end, got this on the old trusty old Amazon because I t actually took note of the, the colour of the lid and the bottle that everybody else was losing. <laughs> and then... Um, Finally got what I wanted. Do you know what? I actually have got some more, a little bit like this, uh, lighter. It's a bit like this one, and I think that's what I want on this side. It's not here at the moment, so I might have to add that another time, uh, a bit later, guys, because I can't see. I didn't bring it over. I thought I did. I'm doing this in the um by my back door because it's really rainy outside and although it's lovely to do to craft in the garden it has been in the summer it's been really nice to do that because of the daylight and to, to hear the birds singing as i do as i work so can you see what i've done with this this little little one i'm just gonna now place it ah! oh dear at me. I'm going to place a tiny bit of glue on here. So I'm just going to get this done. I've just, um, I've actually got one journal more or less finished for Etsy, which I just need to work on in a little while. Get it listed because Etsy's been in the store. It's been a little bit neglected. Been very busy. Love it though. Um, and let's pop this down there for the lace. So, yes, as I was doing the Daphne's Diary keepsake journal, I did pull out a few pages that I'd liked um, of Daphne's Diary from the summer, 1950s. It was all about the 1950s. And what's up to that then? Am I going mad? Didn't that fit earlier? Did I just cut it? I just cut it, didn't I? Well, I have got some more here. I am going mad. Um, yeah, Daphne's diary that was in uh, yellow and black. And uh, I just loved those colours. And I had a, an earmarked in my mind a particular book cover, a Reader's Digest grey and white jobby, that I'd love to work that with and I and I have I've put, I put them aside and um, I put them aside and I've put a little journal together and it had an Audrey Hepburn image in so I've added some more Audrey I think actually I really I'm very pleased with it so it should be available in the next few days I'll do a flip I want to do a bit of stamping in it. And I'll try to keep it a little bit simple. So it's going to be for easy journaling. So that's that, like that. I'm quite 
pleased with that guys I don't know what you think so I should be able to hold on a mo hold on a mo I might just There you go, there you go, that's what I needed for this side. So you've got, hopefully, I've got something here I can pop stuff in. And once this is dry, just down here, I can pop stuff in as well. Make sure I haven't got any glue or anything on there. There you go. Um, yes, yeah, so let's do something with this. I'm not quite sure what yet. Uh, let's see how many elements. One, two, three, four. So yeah, that need does need something to make. Unless I do it like that. Ah, yes. Like that down there, guys. I think up here, I think that's going to be it. That's going to be it. So there you go, my lovelies. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, can you see where that's placed? Oh, I should have tweezers, shouldn't I? If we need a little bit more down here, what do you think? So what do you think? Really, really excited. And this hasn't taken that long, has it? All said and done. Yeah, I'm going to have to indulge and get another bottle or two. At least I know now which one it is. But it's so nice to be able to work with something reliable that um, works with lace as well, with fabric too. And I think I might just let me uh, actually shall I let's give that a whiz shall I ink round here in the brown let's experiment with the brown and see how it looks I'm not sure ah so this peels off like that and then I've got another sponge I think for my gathered twig so all you do is you pop that it's natty isn't it gathered twig yeah, this was a, I think these, my hubby bought me ages ago and I lost them. I put them somewhere safe, you know. And he bought me my first Tim Holtz Distress inks because they were a treat because I was too mean to buy them myself, to be fair. Um, that was when I first started venturing into the journaling thing. You just don't know, do you, how it's going to turn out. So, uh, that's a bit brown. I might go over that actually, guys. With a bit of the pink a bit later. What do you think? Is that too? Yeah. Let's just do a little. And I might. Yeah. Let's get that dry at the top. Is it in frame? Yeah, it's in frame. There you go. Yeah, I think it's a bit too brown. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, leave it at that for today. I'll edit this, get this up, and then I'll whiz back in and do a flip through of the Naked Journal as being requested. So here we go. Here's our little the inside cover so far. I love it. I love it. So I've got my little pocket there. I can slip a couple of bits. A couple of cheeky bits down there. Probably won't hold very much to be fair, but what I will do is also with this one, this bit here, I'm going to make a, a top loading, a side loading pocket. So let's just do that now while you're here, and I will just edit the video, I'll edit it accordingly. 
so that's that can you see where I'm just going to so that's the page the adjoining page before I get to my autumn oh hope I'm not taking away too many of my little pages here for my day numbers but I can always tip something in can't I if need be well this is a long video so there you go guys that's it that's the inside cover done and that's the pockets done love it love it love it love it hope you've enjoyed crafting with me this uh, this afternoon and uh, oh I'll leave it like that shall I I'll see you soon. I'll be back with the flip through of this um, as it stands before I start working in it. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.